What's up everyone, Spiral is coming out this week, so today I want to sit down and review the original Saw from 2004. So real quick, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe, it would be much appreciated. And I am going to be talking spoilers for the movie, but uh, who hasn't seen Saw at this point? But anyways, if you haven't seen it, uh, make sure you've seen the movie before you watch this review. Anyway, you should see the movie because it's really good, but uh, anyway, let's get into the review. So I really wanted to review this movie because personally I love the Saw, the Saw movies and this is really the horror franchise I grew up with. They were coming out kind of as I was kind of getting to that age where you will start watching horror movies, you know, like 8 to 10 kind of, or you kind of watch them, your parents don't want, don't want you to watch them. So those are really the movies that were coming out around that time, particularly the later ones. But as I've gotten older, I've kind of come back to the earlier ones, and obviously the earlier ones are much better than some of the later ones. But I just, I really like this franchise, and I can't wait for the new one this year. And the first one from 2004, directed by James Wan, is probably the best one, so I really wanted to review it uh, before we get the new one coming out. So while this franchise gets pretty crazy with the kind of Saw concept and the ideas that this franchise has, this first one's fairly simple. Two guys wake up uh, in a room, they're both chained to a pole, and there's a dead guy in the middle. Essentially, they have to play a game to survive and to escape. And from there off, obviously, the plot takes off and it gets more complex. There's a lot of backstory. And I don't know why this movie always gets a credit for like being filmed in one room. I mean, there's plenty of like backstory that's not filmed in one room. The main plot's in one room. But other than that, there's a lot of other stuff, other actors and stuff. But that's really the plot of the movie. I don't want to do like hard spoilers for it. This movie's always more elaborate and more in-depth than I remember it being. It's not just the simple, you know, two, it's, there's so much more than two guys in a room just trying to like, have having to play this like, game by a serial killer. Um, there's so much more to it than that and especially with Jigsaw and his kind of motives that I'll get to in a little bit. James Wan who's probably one of my favorite horror directors. He does an excellent job with this kind of concept of this uh, jigsaw he wants to like make people appreciate living again and so he puts them in in these challenges um, to like essentially obviously he does end up some of them end up dying but to essentially give them a chance to live and make them appreciate living because um, he can't appreciate that because he's dying so that's a really cool concept a really interesting idea and James Wan executes that per to perfection here and that's what one of the biggest reasons this movie's so great. The, the scenes with Jigsaw when he's kind of in the back, the flashback scenes with Jigsaw where he's kind of talking are probably the best scenes in the movie where he's kind of just talking about his motives, what he's doing, why he thinks what he's doing is right. And you just, you don't get a lot of that in horror movies uh, where the villain gets this kind of depth that you do in this franchise. And that's one of the reasons I love this franchise so much is Jigsaw, John Kramer, he gets so much development, especially in the first what, three movies. Um, and then, but it, that's really what makes them great. This movie really is just like a perfect horror movie to me. It's really scary at times, especially some of the scenes, some of the kidnapping scenes. For some reason, in in Saw, the kidnapping scenes are always like the scariest things ever. Then the rest of the movie isn't super scary, but any every time they do those kidnappings, because um, they try to make them like feel real. And for me, the scariest stuff is like kind of the real stuff, something that feels real, you know. And like Friday Thirteenth or something, it just doesn't feel real. But like when you have, you know, just this guy kidnapping you in like an alleyway, that, that shit's scary to me. But once again, this movie's really entertaining. The plot is great. You care about the characters. The characters get a lot of development in this movie. Like all the characters get lots of development. It's really like great to see in a horror movie. And so many times in horror movies, the characters just suck. But in these, this movie, I think the characters are great, particularly the main two guys who are in the room together. And then the ending for this movie is just, just awesome. I love the ending. It's one of my favorite movie endings ever with kind of Saw getting up and just, it's it's so badass. I love it. Um, it's such a good ending. Overall, I just personally, I think this movie's really good. It really just, a, honestly, it's a perfect horror movie. Easily a top five for me when it comes to horror movies. Tobin Bell, who plays John Kramer, is he's really good in his role. I love his like narrative about like appreciating life and trying to get people to live again. Obviously it's you know obviously the way he does it is pretty messed up and like kind of torturing them. But it's still very interesting and, and that's just exactly what makes Jigsaw my favorite horror villain. Wow, because he's just there's so much to him and he has a motive and he has a motive that honestly makes sense it's messed up yes but it makes sense and that's what makes it so great the, and really the first three movies Tobin Bell is just amazing as John Kramer or Jigsaw whatever you want to call him uh, until they obviously kill him off in whatever you third one or something um, he's really good and then the, the later ones get pretty ridiculous with with how they do the concept but these these first three are really strong in what they do with it and there's just so much more to this movie than it just being, you know, a kind of popcorn horror movie. The characters in this movie are super deep and you really get background on all of them. And it's really like a kind of a study of life and a study of living. 
and just like a study of humanity. I really enjoy that about it. And that's what makes this movie so great. The ending of this movie, like I said, I love the ending. Um, it's tragic in what happens, but it just feels right. And it really is just a great movie ending and what they do with it. And it's just a really one of those just shocking movie, movie endings. Um, and it, the, for really the first two Saw movies has have amazing endings. One, one of the things I've always found interesting about this movie is the gore in it isn't like too over the top like the Saw franchise kind of gets in the later ones. Uh, but the the gore in this one isn't too bad. Yes, there's like, you know, a guy cutting off his foot and and other kind of stuff along those lines, but it's not too over the top. So it's definitely kind of, I think, will be a little more appropriate for more broad audiences compared to the later ones, which I would not show anyone who does not want to watch just pure gore. The, this one is a little more watchable, and that's why I think this is really the most iconic one in the franchise. It's not only it's the best, but... It's certainly a more watchable and more more audi more audiences will be able to connect with it because it's not so over the top with that gore. Personally, I, while I do like this franchise, I've never been a fair fan of these like just super gory movies that really this this movie started. I don't really think I hate it when they just use gore to entertain. I don't like that, but I think this movie has a perfect mix of it. And it does it perfect, and I really like that about it. But overall, I've said it quite a bit. This movie's just amazing. The acting's great. The dialogue's great. The story is just top-notch with what they do with this concept. You take this concept of, you know, a serial killer or whatever you want to call Jigsaw, and he's, you know, making people, you know, play a game to survive, and you just take that and you just develop that so much to the point where we really understand where Jigsaw is coming from. And that's just really what makes what I like about this movie is because it just it's so good in what how it James Wan's so good in how he treats the concept and the the plot of this movie. But honestly, this movie's just great. It's really like a reflection on life and humanity. It's just one of the best horror films in my opinion. And I really can't express how much I love this movie, and especially the ending there. I just he blows me away every time. I know the ending, I know the spoilers, but every single time I just I mean, I'm shocked by it. It's incredible to me. I love this movie. I So for my score for this movie, I'm going to give it a 91% and 4.5 and stars. It's easily one of the best horror movies of all time for me. Easily in my you know top 10, top 5. I, I think it's really good. Um, I know a lot of people don't like the Saw franchise. I, I get it. Um, I'm not huge on the sequels. But for me, like the first three as well as a few others throughout the franchise are pretty good horror movies. Especially the first two. The second one's almost as good as the first one for me. But anyway, I'll, I'll be ranking the movies when Spiral comes out. But... I love this movie. I think it's really good. Anyways, that will do it for my review of Saw. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. And tell me what you thought of Saw down below. Are you excited for Spiral? I certainly am kind of looking forward to it. I don't. My hopes aren't super high, but I'm definitely looking forward to it. The guy who directed Saw 2 and 3 and 4 is coming back to direct it. So I think that's definitely... You know, kind of shines a light on it, makes you a little more excited than I would be otherwise. But I'm definitely anticipating it. So uh, anyways, that will do it for the video. Thanks for watching and have a great day.